Hey, welcome back to the channel. Logic Lemur back again with another pretty cool looking puzzle here. And I've read through the the, the, the rules a little bit on this one, and, and there's going to be a little bit of a humor involved in this, it looks like. Um, this one, it's called Foggy on the Details um, by Carl the Fog, but it's actually um, a collab between uh, the Pedaling Penis and Juggler. And Carl the Fog is kind of a pseudonym there for this one. So um, that said... Let's get into this thing and see what we can figure out. Uh, as you can see, it is a six by six with fog of war. So um, let's start reading the rules, see what happens here. So, oh, you're solving my puzzle, aren't you? That's so exciting. All oh, right, the rules, what were they? Okay, yes, here we go. The normal six by six rules apply, obviously. So it's every row, every column, and every two by three box contains the digits one through six ones each. Red lines are modular lines. Every three cell sequence on a red line contains a digit from one, four, two, five, and three, six. So we don't have any red lines here. Let's just, let's just assume this is a, these combined and they are a red line. Uh, this would be, you know, these three line or three portions of line in the sequence have to be from one of each of those three categories. These three in sequence have to be from one of each of those three categories. Then we have blue lines are region sum lines box borders divide them into multiple at least two segments which have the same sum so let's take the same kind of example we do have a blue line here and let's say this was a region sum line that did this this digit whatever it is would have to have the same value as these two digits which would have the same value as this digit then we get to move on lines only move orthogonally so they cannot go on an angle Lines can't share cells with other lines, so we can't have, let's say this was two lines, one going this way and one going this way. That couldn't happen because they couldn't share the cells with another line. Then red lines are modular lines. Wait, did I do that one already? I can't remember. Cages are, uh, mm, oh yeah, killer cages. Digits in them can't repeat, and their sum is always, always, always always given in the upper left corner, the leftmost cell of the topmost row of the cage, and they don't overlap. Uh, so we can look at, we know there's portion of a killer cage here. Uh, by the killer cage logic, the uh, this would have a clue in the top left corner if this was the top left corner. And whatever this cage ends up being, uh, that digit up there is what these would add up to. Uh, and then and of course it also says, uh, cages do not overlap, so you couldn't have a cage do this and then another cage do like this or something like that. And then I'm covering most of the grid, but if you place a correct digit, I'll clear from that cell and the cells around it. So if you were to figure out what this digit is, all of these cells would clear from fog and you would theoretically see, excuse me, new clues uh, that could be used to continue the solve. And then if you finish off with whoo, not sure those were, I'm sure those were all the rules. Oh, I'm so hopeful that you can solve it. So a little bit of cheeky humor by Carl the Fog here in uh, our rule set. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing, see if we can figure it out. Uh, it does seem like it's quite fun. As always, the link is going to be in the description below. So what the heck do we have to work with here? There was quite a few rules included here. And it was broken up a little bit by that humor, so we're going to have to try to uh, get a little serious for a second and remember exactly everything. Is so we have normal 6x6 six six rules, that's fine. We've got the modular lines, we can't see a modular line now, so we don't have to worry about the element. Uh, lines only move orthogonally, so we can start there, which means, well, I guess we can't really go anywhere from there, but what we can do is kind of mark where these lines must go because we know they have to continue. Once they cross over, like they show here, they must continue to that place, but we don't know how they end up after that. Uh, lines can't share cells with other lines, so we really can't make any assertions here because this thing could just turn down, or this could do something like that and go off to the side. This could do something like that and go off to the side. Uh, red lines, we already did that, remember? <clears throat> Oh yeah, killer cages. Here's the one I think we need to start with because that's in the example I gave, and I'm gonna switch to a different uh, clue type here so I don't accidentally type something in that I don't want to do. So killer cages, so killer cages, the clue is always in the top left corner and it seems to be very um, 
pushy about the fact that the top left corner always, always, always is where the, the rule or the clue, the, the, the value of the clue must be. I'm wondering if there's going to be some something occurring with some of this stuff because it seems to be very, very specific. Um, but anyway, so looking at this cage, what can we possibly do with it? Now, because there is not a clue in this top left corner, we're going to somehow have to extend this cage so that there is a top left corner that a clue can be in. Let me look at the rules again to make sure it doesn't say. Okay, so it does say their sum is always, always, always given in the upper left corner. So it's not, it doesn't seem to be an instance where we have a killer cage that does not have a clue, because it doesn't say if given. So, we know this cage, therefore, has to somehow get over here, because this is the highest you can possibly go in this cage. But it's not the furthest left we can go in the cage, because if it was, we would see a clue. So let's start marking where this cage can go. Now, this is a 6x6. Six six. We've got to remember that as well. So we can only go up to the highest number of six, which means we can only ever have uh, six celled killer cages. Otherwise, you would be repeating digits within a cage, which is another thing that you cannot do by the rule sets that are given. Sometimes there are killer cages where you can repeat, or I don't know if you'd call them killer cages, but they're you can have a rule set that says they can repeat if allowed by other rules. This one says you cannot. So how do I get out of here to somewhere over here and not do more than six digits? So I think the only way you can do that is this, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the entirety of this cage. So, yeah, because you can never go up another one because you'd be adding an extra cell which gets you up to seven which we cannot do so the end of this cage has to be up here the clue has to be up here and we know that this has to be a six cell cage which means it has every digit from one to six so what can we do with that well okay well the combination of a killer cage that can't repeat its digits, and we have a good chunk of this killer cage being in this one region where you can't repeat digits. So these two digits must be the only two that are not in the cage in this region. And therefore, this digit and this digit must be the same digit, and this digit and this digit must be the same digit. We're going to have to color this stuff. This looks like there's going to be multiple ways of coloring this thing that we're going to have to use to get this to work out. Um, what, what are good? Let's use green because that seems to offset quite well with the blue and the orange yeah it, it looks pretty good on my other screen as well uh so these two are the same digit and these two are the same digit okay there's a little bit of something there because we know this well we know this is a one cell <clears throat> digit that has a given value. Duh. Now, this line, it can't turn down like this, can it? Because you'd have a green digit, a green digit. So, whatever this value is, I'll say it's just four. Just throwing something out there. I don't know what it is. This would also be four. So, if it did this, this would have to be a zero, and this would have to be another four. So, we'd be breaking the puzzle in multiple ways. So these cannot connect, and this can't just be a, a stub here with like one on each side, because then you'd be repeating these digits anyway. And we know that these are not repeating digits, so we have to at least go out again. Now this guy, okay, this digit can't turn this way. I'm going to have to redo my lines. Uh, we might have might have been better to do an outside line here. Let's actually change that up. Get rid of this and do an outside box as to what uh, this cage is. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so we can't do this because this digit and this digit would have to have the same value. 
and I mean, technically it could be these, but these would have to be the same value because they're single digits within a region, so that doesn't ever work. So this has to turn. This way. So what does what does that do for us? We know what this is a different digit from green and yellow. So let's just put something down. Let's try purple or magenta. And what else can we say about this? Hmm. Well, I guess we know a, f a couple of things. We know that purple is bigger than green, and green is bigger than yellow. Oh, we also know you can't put a 6 on any of these digits. Because if we had a 6 on any of them, you'd have to add it with another digit, and then that would be equaling something that we can't possibly get to. Because it's like the, the bare minimum, or the, the absolute maximum these can be is six, because we're on a six by six. So there has to be a six in one of these two. Now, we know this can't be six, though, because this is a higher digit than it. This one could be a six, though, this, this magenta slash purple. We know this isn't six, we know this isn't six, but we can't necessarily go a well, we know one of these has to be a six, I guess, but it doesn't help us, does it? Because it's only a six by six grid. We don't have anything to, to run an X-wing there for. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> we can't necessarily rule out that this is a five, six pair. I was looking at the, the five being the next highest digit, because we can very easily have but we can't have a 5 on here, now I think about it. So one of these is a 5. Now if we have a 5 on this guy, it has to be a 5, one pair, and this has to be 6. Uh, is it possible that either of these could extend? Well, this one absolutely cannot extend that way. So this is its limit, and what I mean by that is, if this were to do this, We'd have three digits in a region. The bare minimum is one, two, three. They would have to equal six, but we just we know that this does not equal six because this has to be lower than the purple one. So this is the end of what this line can be. Now, what about this guy? He could very well do this. And these could be one, two, three, and this could be six. Now wait, but that doesn't actually work, does it? Because if these are one, two, three, what are these guys? They would have to be 4 and 5, which equals 9, which we can't do. So both of these ends here. Or, I guess it's possible this guy could turn down and do something like this, or this. So it doesn't necessarily have to end here, but it does. Both of these end, or do not extend further into their own region, like this. There is still the possibility this thing goes downward and then picks up another cell somewhere to be able to equal up to this. Or it could even pick up a couple of cells, to be honest. Okay. What else do we know? Well, hmm. we know... No, I guess we don't know. I was going to say, do we know anything about what the actual digits of these could be? Again, we know this is we know this is the highest digit that we know of so far. So we end up in, we're going to be end up in like a six five four three type of thing. This is the next one down, and this is the lowest digit, and this would be again a two three four five type of situation. I'm wondering if these. There's a combination of how this all works that's going to break this puzzle. Because if, if this is a 5, 1, this would be 6, this would have to be 5, and these would be 2, 3. And 
and we'd have the four over here with the six. So that does work. Uh, well, we can say these can't be twos. Let's just get obvious here. If this green was a two, there'd have to be two ones here to equal two. So let's get rid of that two. Can we go any further with that? Can these be threes? If these are threes, this has to be a one, two pair. This would be a three. And this would, the, the next lowest down would be a four, and that would have to equal seven, which it can't do. These can't be three. Can we do the same thing with four, maybe? So if these are four, this has to be a one, three pair. This is a four. This could be two, and this could be six. Now the four will work. So four and five are the possibilities here. And this cannot be lower than green, so it can't be three or four. It has to be five or six. This, can this be four? Let's start looking at it from the back side, I guess. If this is four, this has to be one. These are both five, and this would have to be one, so that doesn't work either. That's not four. Okay. Now, I'm not sure I can go any further, but let's look at the three. If this was a three, this is either a one or a two. And I think we had already kind of proved that that would work in some fashion. Because if this is three and one, that would be, these are both four. This would be that two to make this equal six. If this was three, two, these would, wait, am I just not, I just didn't, see the more obvious thing. Is this always six in the, in the instances we just did? If these are five, this has to be six. No, no question. If these are fours, this has to be a one, three. This has to be a four, two. This is six. This is just always six. That's the obvious thing I just missed. So what's, what is this? And what just happened here? Did I say the upper left corner? I meant lower left. Oh no. That's not good. Because now look at my line. This can't be accurate anymore. And this cage isn't even accurate anymore. Oh goodness, this is going to be like a change in rules as we move forward or something, isn't it? That's not funny, Carl. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, we got a little bit more information here. I don't think I need to uh, mark that. I'll come back to this in a second, though. Wait a second. How does this even work? Uh, oh, no. It can be one, two, three, four, something like that. And then it comes down in here and has multiple digits that can have two high digits. Like, how can you get up to, you know, because one, two, three, four obviously is 10. But, duh, that, that's fine. So let's go back. And look at this thing now, because all of our markings have now been not necessarily proven wrong, but the rules have changed, which is very strange to have to think about. Does that mean that these digits are now completely invalid or not? Um... I don't trust it, is the thing. I, yeah, I don't think we can use this anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of them. And get rid of all of this stuff and get rid of this. Cause I don't think anything we put in there now applies. Is that right? Is that right? But here's the thing, okay, so one of the other rules said the lines can never share cells. So therefore this has to do this, which means this has to be a six. Because this equals a six, these have to join together, so this has to equal a six. I'm pa it, it looks like it's a very obvious thing, but I'm pausing because of the fact that it, that rules have changed. And actually, I need to get rid of this color too. 
So in the current status that we have, this is a single line, or it breaks off, does like a T or something like that, which I guess is possible. But these both have to be six because they're single digit and they have to add together. So this has to be six. It is six. Okay. It, but, oops. Lines can share cells. Sorry. Carl, what are you doing to me? Okay. Now we have a two and we have a line in here now. And there's a difference in the cage down here. We're going to take a look at it in a second. But, okay. So, lines, geez, lines can share cells. This guy does this. This guy is done with. This guy comes in here somehow, and it can't continue down, and these can't be the same, so it's going to have to turn. Uh, actually, let me get rid of that, because it just clutters up the field, I think. Now, we know... None of these can be six, so one of these is a six. I'll put that in there for now. <clears throat> now let's look back at this cage now. Because we know it has to at least do this. One, two, three, four, five. So we're down to five. It may continue into here, it may not. We don't know at this current stage. Although, well, I can still read that, so it's, it's fine with that line crossing over. So what does that say again? Did I say the upper left? I meant lower left. Okay, so this down here, or, yeah, this one here would be where the clue should be now. Oh, yeah. Now, what can we say about... We know, okay, we know the six can't be in any of these, so one of these is a six. This is by basic Sudoku. So I don't think we can ever change these facts, but we might find different later. Uh, so what does that mean? Again, these, this, because lines could share cells, this could very well, no, it can't turn down and share the cell. Because if it did that, even though it might not connect into this one, we'd have a three cell, this would have to be a six again. So that cannot do that. This must be the end. And what can this be then? It can't be six, it can't be one or two, it has to be three, four, or five. Is what we're saying? Okay. Well, this guy clearly can't ever come down, but he could extend, we could have a one, two, three here. Or it could just be a two cell. We have a four, two. No, it can't ever be a two cell, can it? If this was a two cell line, let's say it stopped here. We have a, this is a two cell line. Whatever this digit is, they share. So therefore, these two digits would have to be the exact same to make the values be the same. So that doesn't ever work. So this has to extend here. And these have to be one, two, and three. This has to either be a 4 or a 5, which means this can never be a 3. 1, 2, 3. So these have to have 1, 2, and 3 in them. And we just said that this can't be... Because we have 1, 2, 3 looking into here, so therefore these digits must be from 1, 2, and 3. The only option here that applies or works for that is the three. So this is a three. Okay. Oh, wait, what does this thing down here now say? I'm scared. I just saw it up in the corner. Ah, it was the top cell of Cage's rightmost column. Okay, Carl, we're going to be this way, are we? Now we know where this is. So this is a 15 clue, so it does not have a six in it because one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, equals 21. So there is no 6 in here. I guess we already know that anyway. These have to be from 4 and 5. 
which means these have to be from 1 and 2. Now this has to be a 1-2 pair to equal 3. Alright, and this has to be a 1-2 pair to finish off this region. So we have a 1-2 pair here. And we have a 1-2 pair here. Now this entire section of line must be 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is what, 18? So we have to have a fairly lengthy line down in here somewhere. Now we know this has to turn. Oops, wrong color. We know this has to turn in because it has to be able to create this other section of a region, some line. Shoot, hold on a second. I've got to take a phone call. All right. Hey, sorry about that. I am back. Let's uh, resume this. Sorry. Apologies again. I had to take the phone call. So it lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyway, we are back to where we originally left off. Now I got to remember what the heck I was doing, um, <laughs> which is going to be good. So we had figured out, oops, wrong thing. We had figured out this guy now. We figure out this guy. This guy we don't quite know. We knew that these were one, two, threes because we had to get up to a six. And now that we have, we know that these are three, four, five, and six. Again, we knew that this had to pop out somewhere. Uh, now, the only thing I can see here is that, again, we're going back to where we have a, a killer box or a killer cage. Now, originally it was supposed to be top left corner, and then it was supposed to be lower left corner, and now it's actually top right corner. So this there should be a clue here if this is where this cage ended. But that can't be the case with the current set of rules that we're now looking at. So this box has to go up in some fashion. And what does that tell us is the question. And this guy, I can't really, I mean, I, we know it continues this way and we know it continues this way, but I can't say if it goes down, left, up, or what have you. So there's not, it doesn't feel like there's much we can do there. Although we would be, well, I guess we could look at this maybe a little bit further. Because we still have the fact that we can only have six cells in a killer cage. No, because but could, this could be the end of it. Because this could be the top. Wait, top right. This could be the end. I'm getting confused about the tops now because of the, the changings. It was the top cell of cages rightmost column. Oh wait, that, that's a different thought than what I was thinking. So it has to be the top cell of the cage's rightmost column. That is a different animal, isn't it? Because doesn't that mean that then this has to do this? Because this is if this was the top cell of the rightmost column, it would have a number here, but it doesn't. So therefore, there has to be a topper, more writer <laughs> a cell that fills this uh, cage, which means it would have to get up into here. One, two, three, four, five. That's five cells now. I think that's accurate. I, I want to, once I got to clear off my brain from not looking at this for the last hour or so. Uh, that's how long I was on the phone. Um, and also make sure I'm thinking about this correctly. The top cell of cages rightmost column. So yeah, so there, this could never be the top right because it doesn't have a clue in it. And there's only one other cell that could ever be more above or to the right of this, and that's this guy. So this has to be part of this cage in the current landscape that we live in. 
Okay. So this we know is at least a five cell killer cage. What the heck do we do with that? Not quite sure. Let's think about that. We never ever did get a red line. Or we, or we haven't gotten a red line yet, which is interesting. There's probably one hidden down in here somewhere that we can't see. So if we have... Okay, what about this? The three. We know one of these has to be a three in this region. Therefore, none of these can be threes. Because we can't repeat a three in the cage. Now, we don't know if the cage goes down here, but we don't have to. It means that one of these has to be a three, and therefore this is a three. Now, the problem with this is it doesn't give me any extra clues. Yeah, because that can't be a three, that can't be a three, and that can't be a three, because the three has to be up here in this cage. Now, I don't know. Well, can I say that the six has to be in the cage? I guess the answer is no, because we don't have, we don't know if this is part of it. So one, two, three, four, again, we have five cells that are, are in it. If we knew that this was part of the cage, we would say there has to be a six in the cage and it would have to be here, but I don't think I can say that. Um, okay, this is a little bit of a brain teaser now as to where is the next place to go. Went lower left, it was the top right, okay. So we know one of these is a three. If we could say that this, yeah, if this we say this was part of the cage, it would help alleviate some things, but we cannot. But we know these are from four, uh, four, five, and six. This is not six. So these have to be four and five, okay? These are four and five by basic Sudoku. So we've got a four, five. Maybe we can figure out these two digits by reduction. Okay, this can't be, okay, okay, there we go. These are four, five, and six possibilities. This can never be four or five because we just said these two have to be four and five. So this has to be six. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? So, well, I guess cage clues can go wherever, really. So, it just is what it is. Let's get rid of all of our markings yet again. And start over. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is a 20 clue. And we know these are 4 and 5, which is 9. This is 6, so that's 15. We can only get 5 more. So these two together must be a two, three pair. And one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's not, is that true? Yeah, because we only have five left. So we can never go be into the six cell because it would have to be a 21. So therefore there is no one in this cage. So this is a two, three pair. And this is the end of our cage. I'm going to mark it yet again. And I'm going to probably just have to remove this marking later, but we're going to do it. So we now know that we have a two, three, four, five, six cage. There has to be a one in one of these guys. So there's a one, we have a X wing of one. So there has to be a one down here. Not super useful, but it's something. Um, these are from one, two, and three. Four, five, four, five. 
There has to be a six in one of these two. Let's continue to just kind of pick away at this thing. I still don't think we can do much with this guy, can we? Because we, we just don't know what it is. I mean, this is four plus two or five plus one. It doesn't affect any of this. Now, if we were to remove one option, like this, if this one couldn't be a one, then we're given what we need to do. But at the moment, we're not. So what do we know from the latest and greatest clues that we have? Not quite sure. So now we can't say anything about this cage at all other than what we have. There has to be a three down here. Let's continue looking at Sudoku because that's the only thing I can really see at the moment. Can't have a three down here, but any of these could be threes. Can't have a one down here, but one of these has to be a one. Again, we still don't have any red lines, red modular lines to work with. One of these two has to be a one. One of these two has to be a one. Um, and this one really is... Let's just start writing things in. Because maybe it'll help me see something here. I don't think there's going to be any rules in here that I haven't used that haven't been modulated in some way. Yeah, okay. So we just have to continue until we can get something further we can do. And surprise, surprise, I'm getting a call again. One second. Okay, again, apologies. It's work-related stuff that I had to take, so... Um, well, I wasn't really going anywhere anyway, so maybe a little bit of a break was a good way to clear the mind. So what are we doing? We have to get another 1-2 down in here, another 4-5 and down here. We have a 6 in one of these guys. I feel like there has to be something further we can do with this. Because this was the last clue that we discovered. Um, now, is there anything... F maybe I missed something earlier. Um, I don't really see that. Two, three. This has to be from one, four, and five, yeah. We know there's a six down here. We know there's either a four or a five down here. We, we know what this is, but we, we already knew what it was. So the question, we're going to have to find some way to, to get deeper into this area before we can, I think we can do anything over here. But there's no cages left over now that seem to be giving me further info. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be, I, I, it's going to be something when I, we figure out something down here, it's going to say, oh, wait, the, uh, that clue up there didn't, wasn't correct. And then we can just put a one here or something stupid. <laughs> you can just feel it. Something to just completely throw me off. Um, but, what am I missing? What am I missing? Sixes. No, I've kind of done everything I think I can do with these. So there has to be from... Well, that doesn't do anything. This can't be a one down here, obviously. Um, hmm. I'm a bit stuck again.
Uh, do, 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 do. I just don't think there's anything I can do with this guy. But what do we know it has to add up to? These have to add up, we said, to 18. Which means these have to add up to 8, or whatever the combination of them are on this line would have to add up to 18. Which either means that this line takes up everything, and this would therefore have to be a 3, which it can't be. <clears throat> Or we have a one two pair somewhere not on the line. Can we use that? How can this line ever. Now, was there. Lines can't share cells, but there he said, oops, yes, they can. It says lines move orthogonally. We have not been told otherwise that they cannot move orthogonally then. So, well, we know this is a 1 or a 2. Let's put that in. Because we said we can't have a 3, so it must be the 2 just that up to 3, 1 and 2. So now we got a 1, 2. This has to be 4 and 5. Now there's going to be some other digit in this region that isn't on our line, and it must be a 1 or a 2. Well, it can't be any of these. It can't be one of these. So one of these other ones is a one or a two. But if I put the one or a two down here, this line can't get over here. So I think this has to be a one, two. Because any way I draw this line, oh, wrong color. Now I could draw it like this. Three, four, five, six can all fit in here. That works perfectly fine. If I were to do something like this, this would have to be the one, two. It can't be that. If I were to draw this, same thing. So I cannot get down here to get to this without cutting off the one, two, unless I do this. I think that's exactly what we have to just deal with, because that's the only thing that even makes any sense. So if this is a one, two bear, this must be a one. We're going to find out if I'm right or not. And I am. Hey, and there we get a region or a modular line. And let's determine what other bit of information I am now told I'm wrong about. Like I said, lines can also move diagonally. Of course they can. Which means what I just said here is a complete waste of my time. <laughs> well, it's not a waste of my time. Uh, but I think, and I still say this has to be a one or two. Because in this puzzle, it's happened. I've had to go back and forth multiple times to, to change clues I've put in dependent on what the lines could possibly do. But I don't think you can ever still, unless this happened and it could diverge and this could be a one or a two. I guess that is possible. So if, I don't think I can rely on this being a one-two clue. Anymore. Because we had to use the concept of lines only move orthogonally to be able to get this as not being a four, I mean, not being uh, a leftover digit. Now, this, these markings are still correct because it was just done by basic Sudoku and nothing to do with the line. Which means we know one of these is a 1. What else does it tell us? Okay, let's look at this modular line because we haven't used it yet. Uh, what does it mean? Every three cell sequence on red line contains a digit one, four, two, five, and three, six. So these two have to be from two, three, five, and six. So let's just put those in because this grouping now would be three digits in a row. This, well, this can't be six and it can't be two or three. So this has to be a five. I'm going to remove these. So it's going to put a five in. That is correct. 
Holy heck, a clue that actually remained correct. When did that ever happen? <laughs> so that five now gives us our four and our five. Oops, I misclicked, which gives us four and five here. Now this has to be a one. These are not ones. So this is a one. So it should give us a little bit more information. It does. And we still have an accurate uh, puzzle here. So let's get rid of these. Oh boy. Uh, now, can't quite do anything with the f this five yet, but we know this has to be from either three or six. So let's put that in. Now this one is going to have to be the, the next one in line as well. So uh, these, the, every, the digit on the modular line repeats, or the set of digit repeats every third. So we know this is the mid, this is low, this is high, then we have to go back to mid. But mid is two or five. Well, it's not mid. It's a, th um, a, a modular. It's a modular, like, was it modular three modular or something like that? It's not high, mid, and low. But I'm going to just call it that at the moment because that's what uh, makes sense to me. Anyway, point is that this and this must be from the same group. We already have a five here, so this has to be a two. Uh oh. This looks dangerous, but I can do this by basic Sudoku, and I'm going to do it. And we get a deep, deep, doot in the corner. Um, so what does this lovely little thing say? It says, hold on, did I get the line colors backwards? Oh dear. Well, does that therefore mean that this is the region sum line now? And these are modular. Three. That actually does work, doesn't it? If you look at here, the three and the six are the same modulo. And then two and the one could be whatever they want. Six, five, one. It's only three in a row, so it could be whatever the heck it wants to be. Three, one, two. It's one of each of the, com of the different versions, just like that one was. So, that then means that this has to be the same as what the 3 is, because this is now a modular line, so this is 6, and we get another change. Huh? Maybe digits can repeat in cages after all. Somehow I knew it was going to happen. I'm going to get rid of this coloring, just because it's distracting my eye again. And... Okay, so this is a one-two pair. Let's get rid of those markings. This is just a four given. This has to be from three or six, and it cannot be a six by Sudoku rule. So it is a three. And what does this say? I uh never ground get around to using these. Look at all these little clues in the corner. That's hilarious. Okay, let's uh let's finish this. I think we're just down to Sudoku now. Um, this is a six by Sudoku. This is a three by Sudoku. These are from four, five, and six. So this has to be a six. This has to be from four and five. Now we should be able to finish something off. Okay, so this is now. I don't know that this cage matters yet because we have multiple repetition. That's kind of the point of it. I don't think that cage means anything anymore. It's just, it was kind of like the last or second, the, the penultimate joke here. But we do still have this being a region sum line. So it must equal 14 total. We have nine here already. So we have five left. So this has to be four, one, two. This has to be five. That's going to break everything back open, and one, and two, and one, and two, and four, and five, and you solved the puzzle. That was a trip. Um, it was an excellent puzzle. It took me quite a while to get through it for a six by six, but that was just mind-blowing. Getting a puzzle where you're giving a set of rules that you can use to get a bit of an answer 
and then the rule changes and then you have to reuse the different rule set as it's amended inside of it and then it just keeps morphing into a different puzzle as you do it that was awesome i hope you guys uh, thought the same um pedaling pianist and juggler excellent job so anyway um that's gonna be it for today because <laughs> i think i'm about um exhausted mentally uh i hope you all enjoyed that one i will see you in the next one thanks